Ideas, imagination, inspiration, macro world. Here's your host, Ray Scott. Hi, it is great to have you here for another episode of Macro World. Now, as promised, we're going to be doing part two today of finding images that we feel comfortable enough to have printed and to be put up on our walls in that little area of our home that is special to us, a place where we like to maybe read or listen to music, something like that, something that requires a little bit of something cozy. And that's the kind of image that we were looking for last time when we were shooting macro books. And today it is a macro musical instrument. Now, depending on what you have around you will determine what you use as your musical instrument. Now, here's a tip. Pianos, they are great because of the piano keys. And maybe if you open up the piano, the strings, that can be really interesting from a macro perspective as well. Also, how about a saxophone? The keys of a saxophone and the way it reflects the light and things like that. Fantastic subject. Um, you can use all kinds of different instruments. They're all great. We're going to be using a guitar today. All right. Now, as I mentioned in the very first episode on this channel and in the, introduct in the introduction to the channel, we're doing macro photography. Now, technically, macro photography is, you know, life size. But for the purposes of this channel, half life size, even quarter life size will do because not everybody can get right up to life size. And quite frankly, sometimes you don't really want to. You just want to have that close up effect, something that will show off what you're shooting a little bit differently than the norm. So guitar today, let's get started. So quickly, some things to be aware of. And as a reminder, what we're looking for is an abstract kind of treatment for this project. All right. Now, to be aware of, just not to forget, depth of field, I'm going to be talking about that regularly throughout this video. Parts of the instrument, the strings, if it's a stringed instrument, um, or any kind of keys, uh, mechanical parts, and the shape. Okay, so let's get started. Um, kind of like the parts part of the instrument. And we're looking at the strings. This is a guitar, so it's an acoustic guitar. Incorporating the strings, guess what? You can't lose. You're also seeing a little bit of the guitar neck and also a fret, and also the rosette that goes around the sound hole. Now I've purposely underexposed this image so that um, you can see the sound hole on the right there. I didn't want to see too much into it because there's a, a piece of paper there that indicates what kind of guitar it is, that kind of thing. I wanted it to be kind of in the background and dark, but I wanted the strings to be lit up and I wanted you to see the rosette as well because that's a, a pretty part of the acoustic guitar. But look at that. You can see that you're just seeing two of the strings and you're seeing a little bit of the fretboard and, and one fret. Very abstract, but if you know what a guitar looks like, you could probably tell just from that. All right. The bridge and the saddle and the pegs that hold the strings into the guitar. Now I've purposely put it on an angle to give it that dynamic effect. I like using diagonals in my photography. You know that if you've been following me for any amount of time. Consideration here, dust. I did clean the guitar. It's hard to get every particle of dust, but it's something that you really have to be aware of because it does show up as you can see here. All right, you have the strings, you have the, the, uh, the bridge itself is a beautiful piece of rosewood. And it shows that too, but it's up close again. Look at the pegs. You're, you're getting a couple of, a few pegs in there, but you're really getting an abstract kind of look at a guitar because let's face it, when you look at a guitar, you don't usually put your face up to, to it that closely. So it's a different kind of a look, but it's something that might go nicely on that wall of yours and that cozy part of your home. Again, on the diagonal, the rosette, the strings coming across the sound hole, very dark. It's a different kind of a look at a guitar. The fretboard, just a piece of the fretboard with some of the frets and some of the strings. That simple. Here we get into that depth of field consideration. It depends on how you want it to look, what you're looking for. You see again, the bridge and the saddle and the pegs and a little bit of the strings, but Let's say we move in a little bit closer and forget the, the saddle part. 
and we just go for the strings. Now this is at F 2.8 and it is really, really shallow depth of field. You can see, you can see the actual line of focus along those strings right there. And that's it. Now you can have it deeper, more depth, whatever you want. It's, it's up to you. It's the effect I wanted because I was going for something a little bit more abstract, a little less instantly identifiable. The neck itself, not so much macro here. Okay, it's a, it's a little further back. You can see the line of focus there, though, shallow depth of field. Um, and I just wanted the, the, the guitar neck to just go off into oblivion and be lit up with bokeh and all kinds of stuff like that. It's just, what is it kind of thing? And it's on the diagonal again. But let's not forget the mechanical parts. This is really important. And if you're, if you're using an electric guitar, you're going to go crazy and go nuts because there is so much to an electric guitar in terms of the mechanical aspect of it. This being an acoustic, a lot less, but let's not forget the machine head and the tuning pegs and the um, strings going around. Uh, everything. It's just, it's, to me, it's just fabulous. It's a completely different way to look at a guitar. Notice again, it's on an angle just to give it that dynamic quality. It's not flat. It's not static. There's motion. Very, very shallow depth of field here, f2.8. But if you want to see what it looks like with a greater depth of field, you can look at this one. Exactly the same shot at f22. Here you go. Same thing. Okay. And you're getting three of the tuning pegs as opposed to just the one. I happen to like this better. To me, this is a little bit more abstract. I don't really know what's going on. There's nothing wrong with this one, but this one for me, it's just like the, the strings go off into whatever. It's just personal taste, I guess, but I like this one. And it's, it's different, and it's showing the mechanical parts of the guitar. Again, mechanical parts of the guitar. I've gone down low on the headstock, and I've really exposed it to be rather dark. I just, it almost looks like something a little bit like science fiction, if you know what I mean. F5.6 is the uh, depth of field, that's the aperture. And it's just, oh, it's shiny and it's, it's different. Different angle, different way to look at a guitar. I haven't seen a guitar this way before. So, uh, and, and the darkness and all the black and everything, but it's very, uh, oh, it's almost futuristic in a way to my eye and definitely kind of abstract and oh, what is that? Now, we've gone through the mechanical parts, some of them, and the strings and so on, but what about the shape of the guitar? Now you saw the shape, why not show it, okay? F22 gets you around and again, you notice the dynamic, I'm using that diagonal, I, I like to do that, it gives it that swooping effect as we go around the curve and the body of the guitar F22 gets most of it, not all of it, but most of it in focus. But maybe you want less of it in focus. So how about at F8? And that's F8. And you see the focus point and it goes off into softness at the bottom and at the top. And if you want even less, how about F2.8? And it's just one slice that's in focus and the rest goes off. Just depends on what you're looking for in terms of the shape. More. Front of the guitar, you have the shape there, and you even see some of the uh, neck, and you see those frets that are all lit up, and you can look at it that way too, all kinds of different ways. It's endless, and depending on what kind of instrument you're using, you're going to have a lot of fun, doesn't matter, they're all great. Hopefully, for most of you out there, you haven't seen a guitar uh, shown in quite that fashion, up close. Uh, where you see the strings and, and everything else that's going on. And it's, sometimes it's nice to pull back a little bit too and get a close-up view, uh, a section of the musical instrument, uh, but not the whole thing. Anyway, give it a go. You'll have lots of fun with it, I'm sure. Until next time, I'm Ray Scott reminding you to shoot small, but think big.